Okay, Vinny, we have a deck of cards here. Okay. All right, and what I want you to do is cut the deck any way you want, take the card that you cut to, look at it, show it to the camera, and then put it aside so I can't see it. Okay. Then finish the cut and just square the deck up so that I can't tell where you cut to. Okay. All right? I'm going to look away while you do that. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Now, I'm not going to look at the cards. What I'm going to do is listen to the cards. And so there's one card missing, right? And what I'm going to do is listen to them and see if I can figure out which card is missing. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Got it. What was my card? The Six of Spades. Was that right? Yes. This trick is super easy to perform, it just takes a little bit of setup. So you begin by putting the entire deck in order, going ace through king in each suit. And clubs and hearts, spades and diamonds. And that's it, now you're ready to perform the trick. Now you can cut the deck freely as many times as you want. You can let the spectator cut the deck, it doesn't matter. Because it doesn't change the order, it just changes where the deck splits itself. So five hearts is here. So then the rest of the hearts are on the top of the deck and these are on the bottom, but everything else is still in the exact same order. So what this does is, anytime you cut the deck, the card that you cut to is gonna be one lower than the bottom card. So this is the card they would have taken out. And if you look, it's a six of diamonds. The bottom card is gonna be a seven of diamonds. So all you need to do now is peek at the bottom card when they cut the deck. So the way the trick worked, was you have them cut the deck, remove this card and look at it. So it's a f five of clubs, you don't know that. And they complete the cut. When you pick the cards up, you're gonna quickly peek at the bottom card. You see it's a six of clubs. And in your mind, you're gonna remember six of clubs, so this has to be the five of clubs. And then you just do a bunch of acting. You put this to your ear, you listen to the cards, or you, know, you do any other way you want, but ultimately you're gonna reveal that this is the five of clubs. The only time it gets really tricky is if the card that the spectator cuts to is a king. Because remember, the king is the highest one in the suit and then it goes to the next suit. So in this case, if they had picked a king, the bottom card is not gonna be a club, it's gonna be the ace of hearts. So anytime there's an ace on the bottom, you know they picked a king. You just have to remember which suit it was. And so that's the only memorization of this trick is remembering which suit comes after which other suit. So you know, in this case, if it's a heart, I know clubs come up next. And so if it's a spade, I know it's gotta be the king of hearts and so on. Now, you could make this real easy just by saying, hey, if you cut to an obvious card like an ace or a king, just cut again. And that way you don't have to worry about this part at all.